Handmade speed bumps. That's what some people in Port Ritchie are threatening to do to stop speeders on their street. They say it's an issue that's been going on far too long at this point, so they're doing something about it. But 10 News reporter Sarah Rosario shows you that police are saying not so fast. People disregard this. They think this is a highway, not a residential street, and it's nerve wracking, upsetting. Maria Hall is one of several parents living on Sunglow Avenue in Port Ritchie, fed up with drivers who she says ignore her signs warning people to slow down. This is a detour for US 19. They don't obey the signs. They drive 45 to 60 miles an hour. It's minimum 20 miles an hour or less. It's why Hall and other neighbors started putting out these barriers. She says she's willing to take it a step further. I would build my own speed bumps. I mean, I'll put signs that say slow down as if your kids live here all throughout the neighborhood. I don't care. It's for children. Police Chief Gerardo DeCanio says he's received more complaints about people putting out barriers than he has about speeders. While he says he understands residents' concerns, he says they're going about trying to stop the issue the wrong way. The only people that can change the traffic pattern or, of course, police officers in an emergency, and there's, there's a few other regulations for moving traffic. It has to be done by someone that's certified to move the traffic, but these are not even DOF.approved barriers. To help ease their concerns, the chief has put out patrols. Hall says she's happy to see that within minutes, they were pulling people over. They're realizing that this is a problem area. Now, in response to others with the same concerns, Chief DeCanio says... Let police handle it. Just give us a call. We'll gladly come out and, and take a look, take a survey, see what's going on, and then do the necessary, the necessary traffic enforcement. But we can't enforce something or we can't take care of an issue if we don't know anything about it. And police say if people continue to put those barriers in the street, they could be fined.